Hi again, we are now just going to have a look at some of this year 2024's predictions for the OCRA A Level Chemistry Paper 2. So that's our organic paper. If you're looking for paper one, that's in a different video. If you're looking for AQA, that is in a video that is going to be out very soon. So I have finished writing predicted papers for OCRA and AQA A-level chemistry this year. So you can head to the link down below and find out where you can download them if you want to practice these topics a little bit more. If you don't want to download them and you just want some heads up on what you think might be coming up in this year's paper two, these are my predictions. Remember, they're just predictions. I'm not psychic. I didn't write the paper. Uh, I just wrote my own. But this is based on things that have come up over the last few years, things that haven't come up for a while and things that always come up. So I am going to split this up. What can we expect into specific things that I think might uh, come up that haven't maybe come up for a while. And therefore, that's why I think that they might be included. And then there are some things that always come up that we should really, really focus on for our organic chemistry as well. I've not included anything about section A, multiple choice, because that could be literally anything at all uh, that is organic focused. However, I will talk to you at the end about how you can help to practice your multiple choice and some free resources that I have that will help you with that. OK, so let's think about some specific areas of organic chemistry that I think might be coming up. We have got alkenes, I think, electrophilic addition. Um, when it comes to electrophilic addition reactions, the mechanism, but also being sure that you know about Markovnikov's rules. You don't need to know that it's called Markovnikov's rules, but make sure that you know about the stability of the carbocation intermediate and what isomers might have formed. So those are structural isomers. This idea about major, minor products. Go back over all of that for sure as well as um, alkenes in relation to stereoisomers, i.e. EZ isomerism, and the kind of uh, isomers that can form during a chemical reaction as well. Nucleophilic substitution. I really think nucleophilic feeling really quite strongly about this this year in haloalkanes, including maybe some of the more tricky ones, such as ammonia, where you have to remember to lose the hydrogen ion in the middle of the mechanism. So... Nucleophilic substitution could be something like hydroxide iron in aqueous solution, could be cyanide, could be ammonia. Look at all three of those and also look at your nucleophilic addition as well. Again, cyanide, I'm thinking very strongly going to come up somewhere this year. The cyanide iron as a nucleophile, extension of the carbon chain, and uh, that can happen either as an addition or a substitution. So make sure you know your aldehydes and ketones, nucleophilic addition mechanisms. Amides, lots of students not so sure on their nitrogen chemistry. You need to make sure you know your difference between your amines and your amides and the hydrolysis of amides. That's pretty much all they do. Could be in a polyamide context, could be related to amino acids joining together to make amides. Make sure you know about that bond and you know about the hydrolysis products under different conditions. So acidic or alkaline, what's the difference? What's the charges in the products? Synthesis fruits with benzene. You know, there's loads of different things we can make from benzene. Making sure you know your Friedel Crafts reaction mechanism for benzene is quite easy, but getting all those reactions and conditions down and making sure you know about the aluminium chloride catalyst and what that does in the reaction. And elimination reactions. So forming an alkene, usually from a haloalkane using a hydroxide in um, ethanol. So the difference between hydroxide iron in water doing the substitution and hydroxide iron being a base in an elimination reaction. And I've got another video on elimination reactions that you can watch after this and just uh, refresh yourself on the mechanism and what we mean by elimination. Again, alternative products, right? So if you eliminate, make an alkene, there's often structural isomers in the product. You can have different positions of the double bond and you can also have stereoisomers in the product. 
you can have uh, EZ isomers if you form a alkene that has that possibility. So just a few things. Again, make sure that your revision is thorough. But those are some things that I think are quite possible this year for paper two. Things that you should always revise for paper two really, really thoroughly. Carboxylic acids and esters, they just always come up somewhere, whether it be about the equilibrium reactions, about the bond enthalpies, about reactions of acids as weak acids, like esterification reactions, equilibria. There are so many areas of chemistry that carboxylic acids and esters come into. You need to be really well versed on those as well. Spectroscopy, obviously, big spec questions, NMR, carbon-13, proton NMR, mass spec, get it all down, make sure you know all of those, do lots of practice of those. Testing for functional groups, you don't want to be losing marks. I said this about paper one and the inorganic, you do not want to be losing marks because you don't know how to test for an alkene or a carboxylic acid or an aldehyde. They're really, really easy little ways to pick up on uh, marks in paper two. Don't forget about your calculations. So the two main calculations that probably come up in paper two, obviously it's not as many calculations as paper one and paper three, but you're most definitely going to have some empirical formula. Make sure you can do the empirical formula calculations where the numbers don't always like add up to whole numbers. So sometimes, you know, know what to do when you get fractions in your empirical formula calculations. Also have an idea about what that means, like how many carbon to hydrogen, what does that tell you about a molecule? Percentage yield, get it on a percentage yield. I mean, again, it's a fairly easy calculation, but you've got to practice it just to make sure that you don't end up losing silly, easy marks. All right, um, what have I got on my website that can help you in your last minute revision? It's not last minute, as I'm writing, making this video now, there is still nearly a month to go. So um, retrieval practice quizzes, if you signed up to my mailing list, you'll already be getting those, but they are up on the website. So there's probably now nearly 50 different quizzes, 10 marks each of just nailing it all, making sure that you know it. I've also got my 101 AS level activities and 101 A level. When you put them together, that's 202 little questions, just little quizzes to keep you on top of your knowledge. That's free. Practice questions and walkthroughs. There are free sections on my website. Go to A-level resources. Under there, you will see organic, physical, inorganic. Obviously, paper two, you're going to want to look for organic. Practice questions. There's a few little um, videos there and walkthroughs of some of the question booklets. And there's a whole set of multiple choice questions, 50 A-level multiple choice questions, really good for practicing for paper one and paper two. They come with video walkthroughs as well. If you want something a bit more, I have a few spaces left on my OCRA A-level chemistry May half term one day course. So that is six hours of live online tuition. You also get access to my A-level masterclass package, which I'm just about to talk about. You get all the predicted papers and practice papers as well. You get all of that for like 125 quid. Um, and it's small groups, okay? So you get to ask lots of questions. I do not do like huge hundreds of students. I don't, I don't reach hundreds of students. So, um, you know, we're probably talking about an absolute maximum of 10 people. Therefore, you get loads of opportunity to ask me lots of questions and we go over really specific stuff to prepare you for all three exams on that day. The OCR one is on the 28th, which is the Tuesday of half term. You get access at the same time. You can just get this online anyway on the website. It's £50. It's a whole set of 22 hours of recorded masterclasses. So it's all the a-level revision classes that I've given to groups this year. Uh, so it's all specific to you and you can watch them at your own pace. You can fast forward to the bits you want to. It's all about exam practice. It's about those challenging questions, walking through them, talking through them, asking lots of multiple choice questions to keep you engaged. And 
each one of those 22 topics also comes with practice questions, topic checklists, just to get you really organized. If you feel like you need some structure, you need to make sure, or there's like particular topics like, oh, I really need to go through amines or I need to go through carbonyls and I just want more practice on that. That's all included in that package. Um, I'm also going to have some pre-exam classes on the day, oh, well not on the day, just before, like either the day before or a couple of days before each of paper one, paper two, paper three. Best way to keep up with those is to make sure you're on my mailing list. And of course, practice papers and predicted papers are ready. So for OCRA, you've got this year's 2024 predicted papers, you've got last year's predicted papers and the year before. So that's a whole set of three lots of three, nine exam papers that you've not seen before, unless your teacher has given them to you, um, that you can use as full exam practice. And that's great because all the other practice papers, you kind of have already seen most of the questions because they're already on physics and maths tutor and they're on all of the different past paper websites and all your practice tests have probably been on past paper questions. So this is a good way to see different questions, all with mark schemes, Walkthroughs are coming. I am making them like literally at the same time as I'm making these videos so that you have like walkthrough explanations too. Those are all included in the one day course. And I've also got a set, a whole separate set of extended response questions. So those six, seven, eight marker questions, the more written ones, the ones that are related to practical skills, that kind of thing. It's a whole booklet of I think 22 of those as well. So loads and loads of practice available for you. Got anything else you want me to make a video about or add to my website or if you've got any questions, drop it in the comments or email me claire at ckchemistry.co.uk and good luck on your exams. I shall be putting together a video for paper three, which is much harder to predict, but I will make one soon. See you soon.